Hi, I'm here with Les Simpson to talk about the gay art scene. Now, Les, what makes the gay art scene? And tell us about it. Certainly, the art scene in general has tons of gay and lesbian and transgender stuff integrated into it. But there are a few things that focus just on gay art. And um, one of them is the Leslie Lohman Gallery in Soho. Now, for years, it was located on Prince Street, and it's actually still there, but they just opened a brand new space in addition to this on Wooster that's incredible. It's expansive and clean and fresh, everything you'd want in a gallery, plus they have a few pink columns, and just to give it that gay touch. And Leslie Lohman displays contemporary art, but they also have a huge archive of gay art. Their purpose is to preserve and display gay and lesbian, transgender art. And so now they have all these walls and spaces that they can finally display it on properly. Mm -hmm. And so they have this huge archive, including some great work by like Andy Warhol and the photographer Robert Maplethorpe and the erotic illustrator Tom of Finland. And actually quite a bit of the work probably is on the erotic side, but uh, that always makes for provocative viewing. Well, the Leslie Lemon Gay Art Foundation is one of the few, almost the only real gay and lesbian gallery in the country. And there aren't very many in the world, actually. Our visitors come from all over the world. I mean, we have a rather large, extensive website so people from Europe especially see that and they're quite amazed and of course when they come to New York they always stop here. Now in addition to the Leslie Lobin art galleries there's also art tours that can be taken in Chelsea. Tell us about that. There is a man named Raphael Risenberg who gives tours once a month. It's $20 to attend each tour and they do change from month to month. It's great. He goes around and to all these shows and edits, you know, what he wants to show his tours. So you see about eight galleries per day, and he really has a great eye, and he's great at explaining things. He's a gay studies professor, but he's also an art uh, critic for uh, the New York Blade and uh, for other sources, and he's just really knowledgeable. And we're standing outside of the Leo Koenig Gallery in Chelsea on 23rd Street. Inside is lesbian artist Nicole Eisenman's latest exhibit. Let's go in. We're here with an enormous painting by lesbian artist Nicole Eisenman. It's her latest work, and it's a dystopian fantasy. Most of these people are women Amazon-like tribe members, and there's something sinister about what's going on, which is that many of them are hunting down men and killing them for their sperm, with which they're impregnating their Amazon-like tribe mates. Our last stop on today's tour is a very famous artist, Keith Haring, who died in 1990 at the age of 31 from AIDS-related causes. He's actually um, one of the world's most famous gay artists in world history. So through my company, New York Gallery Tours, I visit over 200 new gallery exhibits a month in the 250 galleries that are in Chelsea. And for any tour, I choose what I think are the eight most interesting and varied ones. It's always a mix of painting, sculpture, electronic media, and photography by American and international artists. For my gay and lesbian tours, I try to include whatever interesting gay art exhibits are out there. New York is the world center for contemporary art, and particularly Chelsea. Just to give you a comparison, Chelsea has 250 galleries in that concentrated area. The second highest number of galleries in the world is in London. They have a little over 100 galleries, and it's spread throughout the entire city. The world has never seen a contemporary gallery scene like the one currently in Chelsea. People buy plane tickets from all over the world just to see the Chelsea galleries. And yet, many New Yorkers don't even know that the Chelsea gallery scene exists. And where would one find out about 
where and when to meet up with Ralph Fiel for the tours? Well, the website gives all the information. Uh, they're conducted once a month on Saturdays. Uh, the group meets in the early afternoon at a designated space in Chelsea. And then uh, the group would go out from there to the various galleries. It's probably about two and a half hours long. And uh, comfortable shoes are recommended. So whether you're in the mood to take an art tour or actually purchase some art, these galleries are not to be missed. Tune in, get out. To order your own weekly copy of Time Out New York magazine for only $19.97 a year, call 1-866-929-1112. And always stay one step ahead.